Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Glad to have everyone here today. I got a good one for you today. Going to get into the um, Lucas Body, Betty, and Armando Casa Monica fight. Uh, this is on the Jake Paul, uh, Mike Tyson card. Gonna get into that, uh, break it all down for you. But before we do, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, it's just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book you anything. It gets you a request a video. It gets you the updated props and odds. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the known boxing universe for just $5 a month. That's, uh, that's our Patreon. Get the lock of the week. The lock of the week has already dropped for this week. Got it out early for you week, uh, guys. I want you guys to be able to lock into these odds. So go over to Patreon, sign up, get the lock of the week. Also, head on over to carnivalbar.com, uh, carnivalbar.com. That's the nutrition of a ooh, the nutrition of a steak, the convenience of a bar. That's carnivalbar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. On the move nutrition without compromise. That's carnivalbar.com. Use promo code boxing at checkout to save 10%. And uh, also subscribe to the channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into today's fight. Uh, let's say it's show. Let's get into today's show. Lucas Body um, judges distance really well. He's Physically strong as an ox, um, uses his feints really well. He can get in and out really well. He's got great feet and great timing, but he does shell up. And he doesn't really punch with you. He, he, he needs to – he plays a lot of you go, I go. He throws um, hard and he, and he commits to his shots. And he's strong, and he's got some pop. He hits really hard, actually. Uh, but he doesn't punch with you. He, he doesn't punch between your punches. He just shells up and lets you throw. And then when you're done throwing, he throws. He does go first. And when he – it's it's all you go, I go. There's very little punching with you. That's something he needs to, to really work on. But he's got a good offensive arsenal. He's got really good power, two-fisted power. He's not especially mobile. He's not exceptionally quick. But he's got good feet. They're just a little slow. His feet – he doesn't cross his feet. He maintains distance really well. He gets in and out well. He just doesn't have great speed. He uses his strength uh, to kind of back you down and to create space and to maintain distance. He gets hit a lot. He, he seems to fade a, a late too a little bit. There's a lot I like about him specifically early. The way he uses his feet, the way he judges distance, the way he closes distances, he can back you up with his strength. He can push you around. He, if it gets into... A, a phone booth, he can he can have success. Um, he can close distance well. He can keep you at bay. He can close he can close the distance, get inside and, and work you. He can go to the body. He can do a lot of things well. Um, and he showed that in the Aston Salvi fight. I just have some questions about him. And Armando Casamonica is a guy who's been our our, our um, prospect of the month. Good prospect, patient, calm, excellent fundamentals. Guys, he can fight in the south. He can switch like, as the Italian fighters do. He can he can switch hit a uh, hit a bunch. He flurries well. He comes forward. He's not a massive hitter, but he commits to his shots. He's not in there pitter pattering it like his is. He, he reminds me a little bit of Eddie Vasquez. Like that's the kind of fighter that he is. Shotgun jab gets his way in. Comes forward. Behind a high guard, likes to be on the inside, doesn't utilize a lot of lateral movement. Like I said, he can switch hit. Like, you know, a decent athlete. You know, a lot of the times the Italian fighters are pretty decent athletes. He, he's one of them. He doesn't fight like your typical Italian fighter. He stays tight behind the high guard. Nice, quick, short punches on the inside. Good timing, specifically on the hook. He counters well. He does. We were talking about uh, Betty, who doesn't really punch with you. He punches with you. He punches in between your punches. He swarms. He stays aggressive. He stays on you. He's got good volume. 
This, I believe, could be an upset in the making. I saw the odds on this, and I was expecting Betty to be a favorite based on his last fight with Ashton. But I was not expecting what we were seeing. And I, I, I thought he was going to be plus 800 or less. The odds are shocking to me. And it's minus two. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought it was going to be minus 800 or less. And he's minus 2,000. I'm thinking Casamonica may win this fight at plus 850. I like this a lot. This to me is a 50 50 kind of fight. Two good looking prospects. Uh, two guys who, who like to fight on the inside. They're going to favor a baddie because he is the bigger puncher, which he is. But Casamonica is the more skill fighter, he's the more complete offensive fighter. Uh, he's the more he throws in more volume. If they sit in a phone booth and slug for twelve rounds, okay. But Casamonica, better footwork, better athlete, moves. He's got a real path to victory in this fight, which the odds suggest that he don't. And I'm looking at this, and th- these odds are shocking to me. So I would, if I just asking me, I, I would say Casamonica has like a 51% chance of winning this fight, and Betty has a 49% chance of winning this fight. So at plus 850, I absolutely love the idea of putting a little bet, you know, whatever, whatever your normal bet is, just split it. Or whatever you're gonna win on the um on your parlay if you join the lock of the week, the parlay is good as gold. So you can lock up the parlay. This is one of my favorite parlays. Take that. Throw some of it on, on Casamonica to pull the upset. The all bet makes you 475. This is where we make our money. You know, we we, we we take parlays, we parlay save parlays, and we just bankroll, bankroll, bankroll it. And then we take a little bit. We take a little bit of that bankroll and we put it on Casamonica to pull this upset because this is a real fight. And these odds suggest that it's not. Munda Casamonica is, is not your typical European fighter. He's a guy that can punch. He's a guy that comes. I understand his record. is He's got three knockouts and 14 wins or something like that. He commits to his shots. He throws hard shots. He can dent you with his shots. He can win this fight. And the odds suggest that he can't. So I'm taking Casamonica in this. I think this is your upset. Again, this isn't a lock. It's not going to be part of the lock of the week. It's not. It's not. Don't don't parlay this. This is a this is a a, a little bit of a swing. But it's not much of a swing. It's not a crazy swing. We're not hoping for something insane. I like Casa Monica in this. Take your bet. Cut it in half. Put it on Casa Monica. It pays. Something I like a lot, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Guys, Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. That's on the move nutrition without compromise. It's the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. Carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10%. Uh, it is November 13th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.